All right, so we're getting up here near the top on Bunsen Peak Trail. I think we're gonna see a pretty good view when we get to this corner. A couple of steep inclines through here. Oh yeah, look out there. Wow. Yeah, this is where you stop. This is where you stop and take a break. And I'm Wilson. And I'm Kelly. And we're on the move. And we're gonna kind of finish up talking about some necessities of hiking. And so what we have here is, uh, I don't know if my son's telling me that the hat is a necessity or if he can't see my face. But anyway, um, hats are definitely a necessity. So I would recommend that you have a hat with you when you're hiking, it's just good. Sunglasses are great. Now we're out west right now. Sun is really intense when you get out into the western areas, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. I don't know, I guess it's the higher elevation, could be the atmosphere, whatever it is. But uh, sunscreen is great to have because you will burn you pretty definitely quickly. definitely need that, yeah. Yeah, up here. So what else do you need? Um, this right here. This is like the greatest product, Repel Max 40% DEET. This is gonna keep mosquitoes off of you. And we've had some areas in Montana that the mosquitoes were just terrible. You'd see columns of mosquitoes flying around. So uh, something with DEET in it is gonna be excellent. We also have a thermocell at our campsite. We like the thermocell for sitting around. As long as there's no wind, you're good with it. But if there's wind, it's probably not gonna be very effective. All right, so what else do I need in my backpack? Uh, Cody mentioned earlier bear spray. You gotta know how to use it too. I like to carry it on one of these straps and in a position where it's right here on my waist on my hip uh, that way I can pull it very quickly uh, you know a lot of people may carry a gun with them too but if you see a bear he's gonna be on you usually they're gonna be within 30 yards of you they're gonna be on you within just a couple of seconds probably two seconds and so you don't have much time to react and most of the time we don't want to kill the bear usually the bear is just charging because they've become uh, surprise. surprise, maybe you surprise them, whatever it was, you know, and if you do have to pull the bear spray, you got to know how to use it. So it's going to pull out of the pouch. This is going to be on your belt. You're going to pull the safety clip, which you can see the white clip right here. It just flips right off. And then you're going to push down and you're going to aim and spray a cloud, hopefully in the direction of the bear that's going to affect the bear and make the bear turn around. You know, and then you I, run and get out of the way. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> well, I wouldn't recommend running, okay? <laughs> but you definitely want to get out of the situation there but I hope I never have to use this but we bought them anyway to carry with us while we're out west because you never know and it is a deterrent um, you see most people who are hiking in the backcountry with this if you're hiking on the boardwalks in Yellowstone you don't need this so I must apologize for that last statement because just a few days later we see this in Grand Teton National Park be bear aware everywhere Bear spray, pretty effective thing. I've just got it on the side of the pack right now. Medicine. Um, I get migraines, and I don't go anywhere without my medication. So if you are somebody that gets headaches or, you know, you have something that could happen while you're out and about, stick your pack of medicine down in your backpack. It's real nice and, and handy to have. Um, a gimbal. This is great for the cell phone. This one's made by DJI. There's a ton of gimbals out there. You can slide your phone right onto it, turn it on, and it shoots steady video for you as you're walking. So that's just a really handy tool to have. I don't have it on right now, that's why it's rotating. But it will shoot stable, and it doesn't weigh very much. A lot of functionality to this gimbal. Really easy to use. That's the Osmo Mobile 3. Yeah, That's Osmo the, Mobile 3. The newest one. I really recommend it Much versus smaller. the 2 or the 1. They're, they're just the old generations. Folds up. I mean, you can literally stick it in your back pocket if you choose to. Uh, what else do you need? I always like to keep some binoculars in my pack. <laughs> binoculars because you never know what you're going to see. Right now we're over the edge of, I believe it's the Snake. Lewis, nope, Snake River, I'm sorry, we're down further than the Lewis, 
and so we're right next to the Snake River. You never know among these valleys what you might see. And so pack a pair of binoculars. I recommend a good pair of binoculars. If you buy the 1999 ones at Walmart, they have their purpose. Yes, you can see certain things. You know, but you don't see much out here because it's so far away. So usually. far away. <laughs> you buy a good pair of Nikons. These are Vortex. Um, you don't have to spend $1,000. You can spend $140, $150, $250. you will get a pair of binoculars that when you look through them the first time, you'll go, wow. I did not know that binoculars could see that well. They gather light and they see long distances. So get a pair of binoculars that you can use. Use them and do not leave them in the camper or back <laughs> at the hotel room. Yes. That is terrible. This is actually the first year we brought our binoculars. We forget them all the time when we come out here. So we made sure to have them this time. <laughs> Two other things that you need while you're out hiking. I like protein bars real easy convenient snacks um, find something simple that you can throw in your pack so when you get hungry you can pull it out and they then always can, have snacks with yeah them. easily pack your trash out um, keep a garbage bag or a small plastic bag in your pack and then you can pack out anything or if you see trash on the trail go ahead and pack that out last thing here that I think is real important is a rain jacket a good quality rain jacket something that's going to keep you dry while you're out and about hiking really comes in handy you know we, we've been out horseback riding we've used these we've been fly fishing on the river we've used these you're out hiking on the trail you're three or four miles away from the truck I don't want to get soaked I at least want the top because the weather in the mountains can change really quickly so when we were hiking we had a sunny down and below and then by the time we got to the top the rain clouds that come over so it's good to have your raincoat all right so we made it up here to the top of bunsen peak what a cool place you can actually see the tetons from up here it is raining behind us We're really hoping that doesn't catch us but it might yeah and and i know i said the last thing but this will <laughs> be the last thing my pack i like a little pack and you guys can choose whatever you want I like something with a good many compartments, different size compartments. I even have a sunglasses <laughs> compartment here, a couple of easy pouches here, and then I have my water bag in the back. My bladder's sitting right in here, and unlike my son, who is a Camelback spokesperson, it seems like. By the way, we are not paid by Camelback in any form or fashion. This pack came from Walmart. Mine did too. And, you know, the bladder came from Walmart. I think the bladder was like... $11, $12? Yeah, it, less than 15 mm -hmm. It's good. You know, hopefully it's going to last me a season or two. I know he said his camel back is about three years old, and that's true, and you may get a little better quality. I don't use mine okay. as much, so I just went with the cheaper version. But a good backpack, make sure you have it. Don't weigh yourself down too much. Um, those are great essentials to have, and make sure you pick the right attire. Yeah. Also, I will say we've got about keeping some band-aids and first aid stuff in your bag. Good point. <laughs> so as a mama, the, to the first hike we did, Maddie got a little scrape and I didn't have my band-aids with me, so I made sure to have them the next time. Um, so have a little bit of moleskin, band-aids, um, any little gauze, something. If you have a small first aid kit, we have one in the truck, but I just put a little bag of essentials like band-aids and things that kids might fall and scrape their knees or adults might fall and scrape their knees or something and need something to cover their little boo-boos. Or you might see somebody on the trail that, yeah. you know, just wasn't prepared and you're prepared to help them out and yeah. that's just being a good hiker, you know, being a good human yeah. to people um, along the way. So you see I got my pack zipped that quick and we're ready to hike. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it, hopefully it gave you a few tips on some things that you really want to carry with you as you're hiking especially out here in these kind of areas because there's a lot of wildlife and things out here so you got to be really prepared yeah and you're a long ways away from the store here yeah. so you want to make sure you have the essentials as you get out we really hope this video helped you guys out in preparing for hiking and if it did give us a big thumbs up also don't forget to leave us a comment down below and tell us what your favorite hike is and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future adventures as we can't wait to see you out on the muse.